Hey guys, Boris Lasker from BK. Great to be with you. As always, my disclaimer first, please note the following video is for educational purposes only. No claim is made as to the accuracy or efficacy of any trading strategies contained in this video. And as always, do your own research. This week, I'm coming back off a couple of weeks of rest because I've been sort of doing research myself. And I'm going to make it very clean, simple, and clear. It's going to be a short video this week because I kind of want to just show you the foundational setup for this, uh, the structural setup for this um uh, for this trade, um, and we'll look at real life examples next week. All of you know that I trade nothing but primarily my flow setup, and generally I traded to the 50s and to the OOs. But one of the things that I've sort of really focused on is just trading my OO setup to the OOs on a longer term basis. I call this the long scalp, but it really can be almost uh, called a practically positional trade because it generates more, generally more than no more than one maximum two trades per day and I only trade this in the euro dollar and probably the Aussie dollar primarily because the pound is just too volatile it has too many retraces you'll see why as, as I described the setup um, to really give you the kind of edge that I think um, I want out of the setup the setup is basically very very simple it's a pure momentum based setup based on the assumption of the following uh, rules we start out with the euro and the idea here is that the euro must start from the first OO in order to reach the second OO. In other words, um, it must have a rally all the way down from, in this particular case, the 42s in order for me to even get interested in the trade. If the rally is from 25s or from 30s, from 40s, um, that's not enough momentum for me to, uh, to really have a high probability belief that there's going to be continuation of trade. Having said this, I've sort of modified the risk and reward of my of my runs in the following manner. So if the thing starts from the OOs, then my entry is actually at 65. A little bit of an earlier entry, but, and this is where I know it may be very difficult for uh, for you to accept this, but I've tested this um, many times on the, uh, especially within the high trending situations, and it tends to work very well. You understand why. 65 entry, the OO is the exit. The important thing, however, is that I leave myself a very, very wide stop. I give myself, we'll color this, make, let's make this uh, thicker and redder. So you guys can see my stop. I give myself fully 65 points of a stop against the 35-point target. It's almost 1 to 2. It's actually a little bit better than 1 to 2. If you sort of ration it out, uh, it's a two out of three net positive expectancy. If you win two out of three times, you actually make 10, um, 10 uh, pips out of three trades. Obviously, you're trying to get better ratios than that. You're trying to make seven out of 10, ideally maybe even 75 out of um, 100. But having said this, because of the very, very strict conditions that you really have to have a full run from the OOs, it tends to be, especially in high um, trending situations, a pretty good setup. So this is the setup on a single case basis where we're long the euro at 65, stop is at 00, targeted out ourselves at 43. Now I just want to show you just how well this, this structure worked in the month of August. Let's remove all the um, lines here. And we can just sort of eyeball this. I'm going to go into a, into a much um, a longer time chart. This is a five minute chart, but I've just sort of zoomed myself out from the start of this month. And as you can see, basically the trades worked. I'm just going to mark out every trade that's kind of worked and any, anything that didn't work. It worked here at 43. Um, it worked here at 44. It, uh, let's see, did it work at 45? I'm not sure. Let's see, was this a high? This was, what's the high here? Yes. So it did not work at 45 because it would have taken getting you in at 65, and you would have been stopped out at 44. But on the second run, it did work, right, at 45. Works the other way as well. This is the critical thing about it. I think you find it very interesting. When it breaks the 45 it, and goes all the way down through the 44.35, it worked to the downside here. It worked to the downside here to the 43s. It worked all the way downside here to actually the 42s. And then right back the same way when we had the structure going forth. So obviously a very, very positive structure for this or positive environment for this particular setup 
and it goes all the way to 46. But I just want to show you, just in this, this is sort of like the 20 months of April, to understand just the, 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 the accuracy of this trade in April was just astounding. You basically have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, out of 10 winners. It's a 90%. Um, hit ratio. That's a ridiculously high ratio. Clearly um, a very unique and special environment in, in April where this worked. But the bottom line is it tends to work at a very, very high probability ratio given these kind of uh, setups really through almost all the um, kind of random situations that I looked at on the, uh, on the euro dollar because, it, because of its very strict requirement that you have to have a full move of 65 points before you begin initiating a, um, a move to the downside because the whole idea here frankly is that momentum begets momentum and once momentum sort of crosses the two-thirds line on the um, on the uh, dollar basis the probability of it hitting the other uh, opposite OO is very strong ironically enough by the way just show you that you know obviously this is some very good times if we go into like the last couple of days this setup actually did not work um, what you can see here is that we failed once uh, on the run to the 49s, and we may very well fail on the run to the 49s again. And this could be a second failure. This actually should be an X, right? So you could have two consecutive failures, which is which is sort of um, very unlikely when you see the setup. But more interestingly enough, it could signal to us that this could be a topping in the euro dollar. So for those of you who trade on a longer term basis, this could be an interesting uh, proprietary signal that you guys could develop yourselves um, for a longer term turn trade. In either case. If this thing fails, obviously the uh, the situation then turns the other way, and we'll be trying to look for the run to the 4700s as part of this euro euro dollar rally unwinds. But overall, this is one of those kind of trades that I think makes a lot of sense because it doesn't require too much maintenance, it doesn't require too many trades, and oh, and um, on a broad longer term basis, it tends to have relatively high expectancy um, and hopefully good returns. So with that, with a long scalp. I'm wishing you guys the best of luck and the best of trading. I'll talk to you guys next week with more trades at BK. And, of course, as always, at Twitter at FXFlow. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.